We are back in so many ways. And if you think it's just the guests that are excited, the crew is excited too. I love all of the energy that's happening here on board. We are so happy to be back on board the beautiful Celebrity Equinox. You can see everybody is turning out for an amazing time, ready for some incredible food, some amazing service, and a fantastic week on board. Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your luxury cruise experts. And today, I'm on board the beautiful Celebrity Equinox. Now this incredible vessel just had her Celebrity Revolution upgrades not very long ago. They renovated the ship from top to bottom and we can't wait to share with you what that's all about. You can check out the brand new Retreat Sun Deck, the newly renovated Retreat Lounge and all of those fantastic suite amenities. We do have all the rooms and suites as well on our channel, but on this particular tour, we're gonna show you all the different bars, the restaurants, the dining concepts that they have here on board, in addition to all of the public spaces. Now we've started up here right above the pool deck so that you can see what that looks like. It's a fantastic place to start. You've got the two pools down below, the four hot tubs as well. And when they build out the sides of the ship, it was kind of the first time that they've done a day bed cabana type concept. So you say set just between the sails there, you're gonna have day beds all the way along. Of course you have loungers facing into the pool, loungers facing out at the ocean as well. But let's start up here on the top deck. Now up here, the first place that we're gonna encounter is the Mast Bar. This is one of my favorite places to be for sail away or any time during the day. People have a lot of fun up here, but it's the people that work on board the ship, the crew members that are the heart and soul of the celebrity experience, and they make it so much fun. Now this ship has not quite opened up yet for all the bars and restaurants that's gonna be happening in just a couple hours, so that's not there yet. But we have had an incredible time the last couple weeks sailing with Celebrity and getting to experience all of the amazing crew members. Now right here at the bar, you're gonna see that they have tables set up so you can have nice little cocktail tables here. And then for contrast, on the opposite side of the ship, you're gonna find the mast grill. So this is that classic pool grill experience. You're gonna have burgers, fries, veggie burgers, hot dogs, all of those types of things. It's really for a quick grab and go option. Of course, there are a ton of food options on board this ship and we'll show them all to you. But what I love about this is you can sit up here in the open air, the beautiful Caribbean sun, maybe you're sailing through Alaska or take advantage of all of that. Now there's loungers all the way along the side here that sets all the way wrapping around the ship. You've got more loungers over here as well. Now in the evening, the pool deck turns into more of an entertainment zone. Of course, during the day, they'll have live music down there, a band playing. But what I love is as we walk along here, you can see some of the tech. They've got all the different lights and things that they can shine down on the pool decks. So you can have those fantastic pool parties that Celebrity is known for. They even do a silent disco out here, which is an absolute blast. Now, as we continue along in the space, you can see the stage on the far side down below here. You've got more loungers all the way around, and I'm walking right now on the walking track. So especially in the morning and the evening, it's a fantastic place to start or end your day. You can see the track wraps all the way around, so it goes all the way around the other side of the ship, just behind the solarium, and continues along through here. Now let's head on up to the Lawn Club, a unique space that's only found on board the beautiful Celebrity Solstice class ships with real grass. Now up on top of the Celebrity Equinox, you'll find something that does not exist on any other class of ship in the world, and that is real live grass. So you have an incredible lawn club. It's massive and it has quite a few different purposes. When the Celebrity Solstice was introduced to the world, this was one of the big reveals. It was one of those things where people asked, can you do it on a cruise ship? What would it look like? And more importantly, how do you maintain it? You can imagine being out to sea always, where you have that salty air and well, all the other things going against grass, going to different climate zones and other places. Celebrity still has done an incredible job over and over again. So you can see that entire way I was walking on grass. We're gonna actually continue on a little bit further in because this is just the beginning of the lawn club. So all along both sides, you're gonna find this grass and then right in the middle, you're gonna find the main lawn club area. So you see they have these beautiful cabanas tucked away right back here. They've got three on either side. And then right here in the middle, you'll see the large screen TV behind me where they're gonna do first run movies and all kinds of different examples of entertainment here on board the ship. They can set up a picnic here. This is used for all kinds of different things. But once again, what is so unique is this is real live grass. This is turf. This is somebody's full-time job that only maintains this. In fact, where's my putter? No, just kidding. 
So the other really unique and incredible thing that they have here on board, once again, this was a first with Celebrity, and I don't know that anybody else is going to do that. It's the beautiful hot glass class. So it's put on by Hollywood Hot Glass, so they do a full glass blowing demonstration and class here. If you step right inside, you've got all of these bench seats, so you can sit there and take part. They also have the large screen TVs on either side so that you can see what they're doing a little more up close and personal. But throughout the world, whether you're in Alaska, you're in Europe, or right here in the Caribbean like we are right now, this is such a unique activity to do on board a cruise ship. It's educational and it's incredibly fascinating. In fact, it takes me right back to when Taylor and I were in Venice watching a similar demonstration. It was absolutely incredible there. And these guys are the best. Now we're just aft of the main part of the lawn club and you've got two of these on the wings of the ship. So this is an area specifically where you can play bocce ball, lawn bowling, any of those fun games that you would play on the grass. It's also a great place to come walk around a little bit as well. You can even take a food or drink over from the Sunset Bar and have a nice little picnic. But it's such a unique and interesting touch to have real live grass on board, especially when you're doing those longer cruises. It kind of brings together the best of sea, the best of land, and you just have a really unique and fantastic experience. So we'll continue along here. You can see there's more seating all the way along the edge of the lawn here. And then in the very back, you're gonna find one of the iconic spots on board any celebrity ship. It's the beautiful Sunset Bar. Let me take you just inside. So right here at the Sunset Bar, of course, you've got the main bar itself over there to the right. And then right here, you're gonna have seating all the way around. So they've got seating set up in two, four, six, eight. They even have these simulated uh, you know, campfire style seating as well too. But what I love about being up here is the entire lawn club is the perfect place to be when you're doing any type of scenic cruising or in the morning for a sunrise, in the evening for a sunset, of course, direct, depending on the direction you're going in. But all the way around the entire lawn club, you're gonna have these glass uh, partitions that are all the way out there. Once again, you can see as the seating continues, it's that perfect place to grab a cocktail, sit and relax and well, I love the aft of the ship anyways. I love how many aft facing rooms and suites that they have on this ship as well. It's pretty, pretty certain that you're gonna find me here at least once or twice having a cocktail. Just in front of the lawn club, you'll find the whiskey house at the lawn club. So you can take advantage of this either inside or outside at the lawn club. You can do all kinds of different whiskey tastings. They have an incredible amount of knowledge base here. Now they've partnered with Johnny Walker. You get to see some of the rarest and most unique blends that Johnny Walker has to offer. And if you happen to be taking a cruise around the British Isles, this is a really fantastic addition because one of my favorite things to do there, well, it's to go whiskey tasting. So this is that spot where you can purchase rare whiskeys, you can taste them, and of course, if you just want a whiskey and head out to the lawn club, you can do that as well. Now, one of those fantastic amenities that you're gonna have if you're staying in a suite here on board the Equinox is the beautiful Retreat Sun Deck. It's a large space at the very front and top of the ship. So this is the highest point on the ship as far as passenger decks go, just for point of reference. Now it's a large horseshoe. It wraps all the way around the front. You're gonna have the loungers all along the sides. They do have those in the shade or in the sun, depending on how you'd like. You've got the large sofas and chairs. I like that they have several different groups set up. So if you wanna come up with a group of friends, maybe there's just two of you, you can come up in the morning for a nice cup of coffee or throughout the day and later in the evening. Now you see you have more bench seating wrapped all the way around. They do have a couple cabana day beds over in the corner. Those are not an additional cost, but they are first come first serve. And then more bench seating around the front. Now, if you are in this space, you can utilize food and drink. This is something exclusive just for retreat deck guests. They have a fantastic menu that you can order from. They also have a full bar menu as well. So you're gonna have retreat hosts up here throughout the day, they're gonna provide service. And then of course you can continue to communicate with your retreat host on the Messenger app as well. So I wanted to continue around to the other side to show you a little bit more about what the space is about. Once again, you have these chairs looking out to the side. This is a fantastic place to come up. Maybe if you're in the glaciers or you're doing some scenic cruising, you can get some incredible views from up here. And then as we continue around, just like on the other side, this is where the entrance is going to be. So I just wanted to point that out. There's a push door open button right here so you can get out. And then you just use your key card to come on in. And of course, if you're staying in the retreat, it's gonna automatically open that. You've got a few more large day beds right here, more loungers wrapped all the way around to the side, and then it continues around towards the back of the ship as well. So as you can imagine, if you are staying in the retreat, it's such a benefit to have your own private outdoor sun deck space. You can come up here, utilize it anytime that you want, and have that incredible service that the retreat provides. 
Now at the very front of this beautiful ship, you're gonna find a really fantastic sun deck area. Now, if you're looking for a place to go, if you just want some sun, a little bit quieter, or if you're going into one of those beautiful scenic viewing areas, this is a fantastic place to be. So you see they have loungers all along here, loungers all along the front, and then it wraps out to around the front of the ship as well. And you've got the same on the other side. Now, just in the background, you'll find another one of our favorite vessels, the beautiful Celebrity Edge. If you wanna see the full ship tour, all the rooms and suites from the Edge as well, you can check that out on our channel. Now we're gonna head into the sport court. It's a really fantastic location here on the front of the ship. One of my favorite places to go and uh, relive some cruise memories. Just in front of me is the front of the ship. You've got the two entrances to the kids clubs as well. And then you've got entrances on the outside. This is open to any passenger. Of course, they do utilize it with the kids from time to time as well. You've got the basketball court and you also have the football or if you will, soccer goal. In fact, in the evening, it's really common to see crew members up here having a really fun game going on. But let's check it out. Let's see what I got. All right. Nothing but net. There we go. It's a good start to the day. There we go. The bank's open. I guess I got to stay on the ship for a while. Basketball's working. Now we're at the top front of the ship in the Sky Lounge. This is a massive and beautiful lounge used all throughout the day and late into the evening. So during the day, they might have trivias, you could have a bingo, there's all kinds of different things that can be done in here. They also do special acts. If they have somebody on board, they might do a show. So it's an extension of the show lounge in that. You can see that there's bench seating facing out at the ocean. You've got stairs all along this. And what I love about this particular space is it's double height and you have massive windows all the way around. It's a perfect place if you're observing maybe Alaska or one of the beautiful scenery uh, areas that they go throughout the world, the Norwegian fjords, the Chilean fjords. This is a perfect place to be for that. Now, right in the middle, you're gonna have a large bar. Of course, it does turn into a nightclub later in the evening. You're gonna have the full bandstand on the far side. They've got the DJ booth. You also have the piano tucked away. Now let's head into a little bit more of the space. You've got a slight ramp up here and you have more seating all throughout. So they've got these cordoned off spots if you want something that's a little bit more intimate with a group of friends. And then as we continue all the way around to the front, I love that they also have loungers and chairs looking out the front of the ship. So this, once again, is a beautiful spot to be wherever you're cruising in the world. Now, as we continue along, you've got more seating right here, more on the other side as well, where you've got tables of six. You can see a little bit better, those larger booths there. And then let me take you right down to the heart of it all. It is the dance floor right in the middle. Once again, in the evening, they've got a live band playing in here. They have special acts. They have all kinds of different options that they can mix and match. It's a really diverse space, a beautiful one. You can see why so many people love it. Now, you can see on the wall, coming up, the ABBA sing-along. I'm gonna get my dancing shoes on. I'm gonna enjoy that a little bit. Now, Celebrity has always been a fantastic option for those looking to do a meeting at sea. Maybe you have some continuing education, you wanna put a group together for that, or you just wanna to get together for all kinds of different meeting and conference options. This is one of those spaces. They have a massive large screen TV, all the top tech that you could possibly need. You can see one of the settings right here is in the classroom style. These walls do open up for a larger conference room as well. Follow me along as we head on out because this will open up and turn this into a little more of a meeting space as well. You can see they have all kinds of different chairs and tables, they can mix and match as you need. And now let's head into the other space. So right now it's not set up because you can customize it as you personally need. They've got the lectern up front. You also have another large flat panel TV right there in front of me, but you can just see all of the different space and the different configurations that we can assist you with when planning your next meeting or group at sea. Now the main casual dining option for breakfast, lunch, and dinner here on board the Equinox is the Ocean View Cafe. So they've got the restrooms at the front of each side. You can utilize that to wash your hands. And then of course, they're gonna have the hand sanitizer stations as well right here at the front. And as we come on in, you can see that there is a wide variety of seating options here. All along this side, you're gonna have the high top table. So if you're traveling with a larger group, I like that you can have six, eight, 12 even over there. And then as we get into this side, you're gonna have seating on both sides that go all the way to the back of the ship. But you can see here that you've got the tables for two, four, six, eight. They can put them together for more. You've got the bench seating along there. And then along the windows, you also have more tables as well. 
So now that we're right into, well, the most important part of the buffet, I thought I'd stop for a second. We're in between meals here, they're just setting up. You've got the ice cream station, which is of course by far the most important part of the entire ship. You got all the different flavors of ice cream, it is complimentary, and also soft serve just behind there as well. Next up, you come to Taylor's favorite station, which is the pizza and pasta station. So you can see here, they're making fresh pizza dough. This is gonna be open longer than the cafe. So usually this opens up late breakfast time, early lunch, and then it's gonna stay open throughout the day and also later into the evening. They've got four different styles of pizza right now here. Hello, how's it going? Um, you've got the pizza ovens just behind. You might see them tossing some pizza as well. This also is a pasta kitchen. Right now they've got those delicious garlic knots, but they'll do different pasta dishes throughout the time here. Now what you'll see throughout this entire buffet is a ton of different stations. Instead of the old school, one nice long line all the way across, you're gonna find the different stations. Once again, they're just setting up right now, but you can see you have a carvery station just over to this side, including my favorite. They can make euros right there with, well, any kind of meat on a stick going around and around makes me really happy. You've got a salad option here in the middle, and of course, the bakery and desserts. Once again, this is in between, so it's got some set up. Right here, you can see they've got all the different rolls. The, the bakery here on board is phenomenal. So you've got stations on either side, and then all along the back, you're gonna have the rest of the buffet stations. So you've got the salad bar in the far corner there where they have all kinds of different options you can make as you'd like. You've got the carvery right here, Asian delights, the grill. They almost always have the Mexican station set up as well. You can grab fajitas, nachos, some of your favorites. But you can see just a little bit of assortment of what they have to offer here on board. You've got those classics, the staples that they're gonna have every single day. And then in addition to that, you're also gonna mix and match throughout the entire cruise. In fact, I'll be back here to the Mexican station in just a minute, looks delicious. So as we wrap all the way around here, this is also a salad bar as well. And then it changes throughout the day. So breakfast, you're gonna find all kinds of different breakfast options. You've got cereals, you've got all the different pastries, eggs to order, and then as the day evolves, that's gonna change with it. So now we've walked through and crossed over to the other side of the ship. You've got more of the same seating all the way around. And then as we continue to head back, you have even more seating available. In fact, this is where you're gonna find me, especially on the first day if I wanna dine up here. I always sneak to the back and escape because it usually seems like people come right in, grab the first seat that they see, and then go to the buffet. Now right here, you've got more bench seating and tucked in the corner. There's even a large double bench seating area for families. I wanted to point out the beverage station. So you're gonna find a couple of them here on, in the Ocean View Cafe. You'll find some others there as well. But these are all different complimentary options. You can come up here and use it just about any time of the day. You've got regular and decaf coffee. I love that it grinds and brews for you. You've got a wide selection of teas, chocolate milk, my daughter's all time favorite as well. You've got your Truvias and Splendas, Sweet and Lows. I like that they have a large assortment. And then over here, you're gonna find the ice and water dispenser. I know it's a really little thing, but I love that they've got the thing you can push on both of them so you don't have to push the button with one hand. I always seem to be carrying more than one dish here when I'm here in the ocean view. And then finally, they have this juice station. So right now it's fruit punch, lemonade, apple juice, and orange juice. Once again, that can change throughout the day as well. And they also have those infused waters that are absolutely delicious. Now this particular Ocean View Cafe has a massive outdoor terrace. I love to dine out there every single time I dine in here. Let me take you right on out back. Now you can see the beautiful outdoor dining terrace. And I love the idea that when they built the Solstice class after the millennium, people love the outdoor terrace so much that they doubled down on it. There's a ton of space out here. You've got different tables wrapped all the way around. They've got the high chairs over there for kids. And then as we continue on here, just wanted to point out this stairway goes up to the sunset bar. You've got beautiful chairs sitting out here where you can look out at the incredible aft facing views. You can see the wake. I just love being in the aft of the ship. And what I really love is in addition to the sunset, that bar, you also have the Ocean View Bar. So this is a bar on both sides here. They'll put the bar stools out in just a few minutes as they open up, but you've got the full bar in here. Once so again, the bartenders are the heart and soul of this incredible ship. They have so much fun with you and they make it so engaging and interactive. So I'll continue on through the space. Once again, seating all the way around and more dining areas over here to the side. Now the Ocean View Cafe would not be complete with just one bar outside. You gotta have an inside bar as well, and it's perfect for both Taylor and me because I've got my nice, beautiful selection of alcohol up there. I've got Fabian pouring the best drinks in the entire planet. 
made me pretty happy over the last couple days, just say that. Um, and then right here behind, you also have kind of the second coffee shop up here. So they've got the espresso maker. You can make all your favorite different coffee drinks in the morning or in the evening if you'd like. And of course, they'll provide bar service throughout the entire cafe. So now we're down on the main part of the pool deck. And what I wanted to point out before we head further is the main stage is right here. All of this gets cleared out in the evening when they do different kinds of dance parties, also usually for a welcome aboard and sail away. Now, as we continue through the space, you can see the first of the hot tubs right here. So there's four of them set all the way around the pools. You got the steps up. You also are gonna have some showers tucked away as well. So you can shower before and after you get in there. Now, right in front of the pool, you're gonna have loungers that are looking out. So there's two different pools. They're divided right down the middle. Another great entertainment zone when they do that later on in the evening as well. So you've got the first pool right here. So it's about two and a half feet on one side, three and a half on the other. And then on the other side of the pool, it's gonna be a larger and deeper pool. So this is five and a half feet at the one side. So you can see that you could do, it's big enough for laps. You wanna get there early in the morning or later in the evening if you take advantage of that. But during the day, the pool deck becomes the heart and soul of the ship. They're gonna have live music out here. Of course, you're gonna have all the different bar service all the way around. You've got that mass grill up above if you wanna grab a quick bite. But over here is the pool bar. So there's two parts of it. You've got these bar stools looking out at the pool area. You also have the main part of the pool bar over here. The bartenders at the pool bar are always the one that wanna have the most fun, a great time. So of course, make sure you get to know them the first day on board your cruise and they'll take, it, take care of you throughout the entire time. But this pool service and bar service is open throughout the day and into the early evening. Now, I did want to point out one other thing tucked over here in the corner. They do have life jackets for little ones. They also have some larger sizes as well. So if you need that or you think you might, make sure you take advantage of that as well. Now, before we head into the solarium, I wanted to point out Slush. This is another bar option that you can take advantage of, whether you're in the solarium or out at the pool area. They also have these really nice day beds that they just put in during the revolution. They even have cup holders there. And then, well, my happy place, an extra large hammock just for me. Oh. <sighs> Tankery and tonic, please. Thanks. Oh, you're awesome. Hmm. Now we're just inside the beautiful solarium with the solarium pool and the spa cafe. Now this entire area has wrapped in glass all the way above and down the sides. You always get that incredible light coming in. Now this area right in the middle has a really large pool. Because of that, you're gonna find showers on both sides. They've got this fantastic waterfall feature just behind. It gets even more beautiful in the evening as the LED lights light up on that full panel. What I love about this is it's extra tall. So it's taller than I think just about any of the other solariums that I've seen. You've got glass on all sides. So if you have inclement weather outside or maybe you're traveling in Alaska or Northern Europe, this is that perfect place to come inside and take advantage of kind of that winter garden feeling where it's nice and warm. You're gonna see that there is a ton of loungers set up around the pool. You also have loungers that are facing out to the side of the ship. On either side, you're gonna have a large jacuzzi hot tub. You also have some day beds, different kinds of seating as well. And then as we continue along into the space, the, what wraps it up is the spa cafe. So once again, before we head there, overview, you've got the pool in the middle, the hot tub and the pools do have an accessible lift, a really fantastic feature. You've got seating that tucks all the way around to the front there, seating on the sides and in the middle. Now, just in front of this entire space is the spa. So I love that they have the spa cafe right here. Part of that concept of wellness woven in, you can have all kinds of different juices. They have an entire full juice bar. I love coming here, taking advantage of those fresh squeezed juices or smoothies in the morning. If you have the premium beverage package, that is something that's included. You've got a coffee bar tucked around the corner. I like that they have coffee on demand, partnership with Lavazza. Also have juices and waters, coffees and teas. And then right here, you're gonna find a full food setup for breakfast and lunch. So they have those healthy, those healthy meal options here if you wanna take advantage of that. That part is complimentary as well. So if you wanna start your day here in the morning, it's perfect or utilize this space to read a book in the afternoon, take a nice swim or just relax. You can see that it's a fantastic option. Now, one of the core aspects to the celebrity brand is of course this wellness woven in concept. It's taking all of the different spa fitness amenities that you can find at home and having them on board the ship. And they have a beautiful and really large spa here on board. 
For point of reference, I'm at the very front of the ship right now. As we come in the main entrance, you're gonna have the salon on one side. Right through here, you have a small waiting area. You're gonna have your main desk over here to the right where they're gonna check you in. They can also answer all your questions throughout your time here. Just in front is gonna be the fitness center. And through the door there, you'll find the changing rooms and the Persian garden. Let's take you through all those spaces now. Just off the starboard side of the spa, you're gonna find the salon. So they have a partnership with Keristis from Paris. So they do all kinds of their different products. They even have a showroom on the far side where you can do all kinds of demonstrations, learn about the products and find which ones are perfect for you. Now in the salon right along here, you've got the manicure stations. I love that they're facing directly out to the beautiful ocean views and then tucked just around the corner. Those of you who are interested in a pedicure or they also have treatments where you can bundle several of them together. You've got the large pedicure stations here and what I love, Big sinks, even big enough for my size 15 feet. Once again, looking out at the incredible ocean views. Now, as we continue along here on the far side, you're gonna find the, the hair station. So there's four of them all together. And what I love about this is maybe you wanna have a revolutionary hairstyle change, or you just wanna get done up before you go out in the evening. This is that perfect spot for that. And of course you can have a full spa day where you combine all the different experiences together. Now for the gentlemen who are looking for a little bit of pampering, they have the barber shop. So there's two stations right here. You can get all kinds of different shave treatments, facials, and then of course hair as well. I love that they've added that on to this particular ship and all of the class. And then of course you can take advantage of the incredible ocean views as well. Just off the spa lobby, you'll find the gents and ladies changing rooms. So this is where you're gonna come either before or after an exercise class, you're using the fitness center, or of course a spa treatment. So wrapped all the way around, you're gonna have lockers. If you're doing a spa treatment, they're gonna give you your robe and slippers so you can get ready for that treatment here. And then as we continue along through the space, you're gonna have the sinks. They've got those nice kits so you can use to get ready. And then just across, you're gonna find the water closets. And further on in, you're gonna find several shower stations. So these are showers. I'll just head right in here so you can see what I'm talking about. I love that they have a nice bench seat, changing area, and then the shower with the shower wand just around the corner. Now, another fantastic complimentary feature is the sauna. So they have a large sauna, once again, one in the gentlemen's and then one in the ladies' changing areas. You can utilize this as you like, and it is not an additional fee. On the port side of the spa, you'll find the Persian garden. This is one of those signatures that you'll find on every single celebrity ship. So from this angle, you can get a really good idea of what the full space looks like. They have several different showers that are here. What I like is they're like rainforest shower head. You can have the hot and the cold and then the mist, I kind of call them my car wash showers, if you will. And then on either side, you're gonna have a herbal steam room on this side. So it's gonna be nice, hot steam, really great to sweat things out, detoxify, also with those aromatics. And then on the other side, you're gonna find a drier version of that. You've got the aromatic suite, where they usually have like eucalyptus or lavender or something along those lines. But what I love about this space is if you're staying in aqua class, it's complimentary. You can also upgrade to get a day pass or a week pass if you wanna stay in here, if you're in any other class of rooms. But if the spa experience is something that you like, Celebrity does an incredible job with it. Now, right here in the main part, you're gonna have these relaxing stone loungers. I absolutely love them. I've had some back issues in my life. I like to sit here, oh, put my head back, look out at the incredible ocean views and get that nice warmth coming up from the hot stones. In fact, I'm gonna stay here for a little while, Taylor. You can finish it. Hmm. Now for point of reference, the spa check-in salon fitness center is one deck above the main part of the spa. Down here is where you're gonna find all the different treatment rooms. It's where you actually will head down to do the final check-in pieces for your spa treatments as well. And that always starts and concludes right here in the relaxation room. You've got these nice large chaise loungers looking out the front of the ship. You've got more loungers just behind. They usually have herbal infused waters over there in the corner, teas and things like that as well. And what I love about this is aqua class guests can take advantage of this space anytime that they want. But the idea behind it is really to have a nice, quiet, zen-like space where you can prepare for your treatment or when you finish up your treatment, or if you just wanna relax, this is the perfect spot for that. Now, most relaxation rooms are not in the front of the ship taking up valuable real estate. So I love that they have this here. It's also a great place to sit and relax when you're sailing out because you've got the beautiful views out to the front. 
Now we're just inside one of the standard treatment rooms here in the spa. So this is a single one. Of course, they have double if you're interested in a couple's treatment, but you can have all kinds of different massage options. Whether you want that Swedish massage, the really deep tissue is something that they can do, or you can just have a nice relaxing or one of my all time favorites, the hot stone massage. Now, when they renovated this ship, they put in all of these brand new lights, really adds to the ambiance. And then those of you familiar with the spa treatment here, this is, well, it's a little bit of a sad sound. It means your massage is, op is over, but what it really means is we're on to the next one. Now, in this room itself, I also like that they have a shower. So of course, before or after your treatments, depending on what you're doing, you can also take advantage of that as well. Now, this is an example of a double or couples treatment room. So you can take advantage of that here. They do all kinds of different treatments. Now, keep in mind, you can do seaweed wraps. You can do full Medi Spa, a wide variety of that. Once again, if there's a spa treatment or a service that you love at home and your favorite spa there, they're gonna have it here on board the Celebrity Equinox. Now, a relatively new treatment for Celebrity and one that is absolutely catching on and becoming incredibly popular is the quartz massage. So uh, what you see here on the table, this is all quartz. The idea is to tap into all of your senses throughout your spa experience. And this one's really about that touch and feel, the earth, of course, there's an aromatherapy that goes with it as well. So right here in there, you're actually gonna have them, they're gonna wrap it all around you. So you'll get in, they'll put the quartz all over, they'll do their full massage treatments. It's several different steps. It's a fantastic option that you wanna try. And then while your eyes are still closed at the very end, you're gonna select a stone. There's several different options there, but you're gonna select one and take it with you to complete the full experience. Just in front of the spa lobby, you'll find the fitness center. Now it's a huge fitness center for a ship this size, and it's incredibly well equipped. This particular part that we're in is really the dedicated cardio area. You see you have all the ellipticals along the back. Right along here, you have several different kinds of bikes. You also have more ellipticals right over here. I love that they have the seated bike and then the one that's a little bit higher up. We'll get to the Pelotons in just a minute, of course. All throughout, you're gonna have these little mini fridges where they have the nice cold towels. So if you want a quick refresh during or after, you can take advantage of that. And then right on the far side, looking out the side of the ship, taking advantage of those amazing views, you're gonna find a couple rowing machines and then of course, the treadmills. But what I love about this is it actually meets my height requirements. So many of the different ships, it doesn't, but I can get on here and exercise or maybe not. We'll see, I'll get back to you on that. Now set in the front of the gym, you're gonna find all of the different circuit machines. So you got biceps, triceps, legs, chest, of course, all the abs and everything else. You've got all of those all along. I love that you can actually use them as a circuit wrapping all the way around. And then over in the corner, you're gonna find more of your free weights. You've got some free weights on the far side, but right here, you've got the different machines. You're gonna have all the different dumbbells and barbells, and then the benches to utilize as you need. You've got the kettlebells and medicine balls over in the corner. And then over on the far side, you're gonna find the aerobics studio. So this is used for a couple different things. So right here, you see they have all of the different spin bikes from Techno Gym. So they do the full spin classes in here, yoga classes, stretching classes, quite a few different varieties for you, whether you wanna start early in the morning with that or take advantage of it throughout the day. Now, continuing along to the space, when there's not a class in here, of course, you can do your own aerobics. They've got the yoga mats, the blocks, the steps, and all the balancing equipment. And then also, as part of their partnership with Peloton, they've got these four Peloton bikes that are set up right here. And what I love about that, maybe you have a streak going at home or you've been using it every single day, you can continue that while on board the ship. Now, if you're in one of the top suites, they'll even bring one of these to your suite so you can exercise in your suite as you would like. Another one of those fantastic options that they have with the top suites here on board. If you wanna see what those look like or any of the rooms and suites, we have those on the channel as well. Now, another bonus tip or secret, if you will, is right in front of the fitness center, you're gonna find a sun deck with all of these loungers wrapped around. It's that perfect place if you wanna come and take in the sun, but also another fantastic option if you're in scenic cruising areas, going in and out of a port, it's also a fantastic place to be on sail away. Next up is my daughter's favorite, and my wife and I as well, you have camp at sea. So it's divided up into different age groups. You've got three to five, six to nine, 10 to 12, I'll show you all of those in here. And then there's also a teen area on the other side. But what I wanted to point out is as soon as you arrive on the ship, head on up here and make sure that you check your kids in. You're gonna to need to bring your CPAS card every single time that you check them in and make sure that you add on any other adults that you wanna pick them up. So like on our last cruise, my mom and dad were with us and so we added them. So if we were at dinner or somewhere else, they could run down and pick my daughter up or drop her off as well. 
This is where you're gonna check in every single time. They're gonna take your card and make sure that it's you, of course, dropping off and picking up the kids. Now this particular space is for three to five year olds. So it's for the littlest cruisers. You've got all kinds of different games. They do have the restrooms inside here. And of course they're size appropriate for the kids. I really love that. Get to hoop it up over in the corner. You also have an Xbox Connect. My daughter came back uh, from her cruise and really wanted an Xbox, which was pretty cool. I love that. You've got all the different toys up and down here. You've got Mr. Potato Head on the wall, Play Kitchen, something my daughter really loved. And then all along the backside here, you're gonna have these little booths where they can do arts and crafts and sometimes even have a snack. Now the whole concept that Celebrity is doing here is called Camp at Sea. I mentioned that just a second ago. But the whole idea is it's more than just play. Don't get me wrong, my daughter had an incredible time on board Celebrity. She absolutely loves it and can't wait to get back. But I love that they tie in science, kind of like the STEAM concept, science, technology, that kind of thing. So there's always learning experiences tied in as well. It blew my mind how many things that she come, came back with telling mom and dad about how much fun she had, but all of the different things that she learned. So now we stepped into the area that's for the six to nine year olds. So you can see, once again, there's another restroom in here. It makes my heart really happy. You also have another basketball hoop all along the wall here. And they have different kinds of Legos and construction things that the kids can put together. You've got a seating area in front of the TV. So there's Xbox connects there. They also do movie time from time to time. See all the different engineering things that they can put together and piece together. We ended up going back to the store when we got home and getting several of them because my daughter enjoyed it so much. They've got all kinds of different activities and coloring right here. In fact, my daughter really enjoyed that as well. And then as we continue along to the far side of the corner, you're gonna find the arts and crafts area, two small tables with the chairs right there. You've got the X boxes all the way around. They've got the bean bags tucked in there as well. And then along the entire wall, they've got all these bins with the different toys and games and things that they'll play. Now the third and final area on this side of the ship is where you're gonna find the spaces for the 10 to 12 year olds. As we head in, you've got another large Xbox lounge. So they've got the Xbox Connects set up right here. And then just on the other side as well, you've got more of the Xbox stations tucked all the way along. And then as we head further into this space, it's a little bit more grown up. You've got the hula hoops and the balls and all those different activities. They're gonna keep them engaged throughout their entire time here. And then the final spot here is the dance floor. So they actually have lights and things like that for them up above. They've got all the different arts and crafts. But something I wanted to point out when we're here is how they embrace STEAM and the idea of it's more than just fun play. It's fun play, and trust me, my daughter had an amazing time here, but it's also very educational. I was blown away how many things that she came back telling us about, not just from art, which she loves to do, but also from technology. They have all of these different robots so the kids can actually put them together and code and program them. You've got Dash right there and then the Jimu robot. Of course, Taylor's pretty happy that they even have some Star Wars over here as well. But I love the concept that it's more than just entertainment, if you will. It's about entertainment, it's about a lot of fun, but it's also about education. And putting them all together as an educator makes me so incredibly happy to see that they get so much more out of their crews each and every time they visit the kids club. Tucked in between the kids club and the teen club, you're gonna find the arcade. Now this is an extra fee. Any of the kids can play this and you might even find some adults, including Taylor and I in here as well. You've got the air hockey in the middle. You've got a motorcycle game, several different driving games. Time Crisis 4, which is Taylor's all-time favorite. And then as you continue along, you've got a few more kind of the VR games as well, including, well, everybody needs Transformers. Now on the opposite side of Camp at Sea, you're gonna find the X Club, which is a, very much a continuation of everything that they do over there. They've got that incredible partnership with Frost Science where they do these full, incredible experiences, all kinds of different experiments. So they learn how the world works, essentially. Now they're gonna have all kinds of fun in here. You see you've got the ping pong table right here to my left. They'll do ping pong and foosball tournaments. You actually have the sport court just outside here as well. So they'll do sport court fun. Right here, you've got a nice lounge area. You've got chairs opposite of it. You're gonna have a huge Xbox center there, a lot of dancing competitions and Xbox Connect fun. As we continue along, we have another area there. This also doubles as the dance floor when they do those fun activities later in the evening. I love the idea that they treat them like young adults. It's a really fantastic combination. So once again, another Xbox Connect. 
And then as we continue along, you've got more seating tucked all the way around here. Right here is kind of the, the DJ booth, if you will. And then continuing along to the far side, you're gonna find more lounge areas to sit. So right here, they actually have a bar. This is kind of that concept of making mocktails and different things along those lines. But you're gonna find the creation station where they can do arts and crafts. Really, you're gonna engage just about every type of teen, whether they're left brain focused, right brain focused, or putting all of them together and learning new things. Such an awesome thing to do on vacation. Now, even the elevators here on board the Equinox are an experience. They have this beautiful glass elevator bank in the aft of the ship, and it kind of sits out over the edge here. So you take advantage of the beautiful views. So we're heading down past the pool, the incredible double high library right there. And one of the most famous features here on board, the floating tree. So that's a real live tree in the middle of the atrium growing up. And then as you head on down, you have the beautiful grand atrium area and the lobby. But I love that touch that even on board an elevator, you're having a fantastic experience. Now we're inside the library. I love the fact that Celebrity has chosen to keep a real library here on board. You've got all the books behind me. So you continue on through the space. You see you've got beautiful seating areas. It's a great place to tuck away to read a book during the day or to come and pick one out. In fact, some of my favorite books that I've ever read, I found on board a cruise ship. So it wraps all the way around. They even have it extra high so that I can grab it there myself. You've got another reading nook tucked just around the corner there. And then finally, the rest of the library is over to the side. But what makes this space incredibly special and beautiful is it's set in the incredible solarium with the beautiful glass elevators going up and down. And one of the most unique and incredible features on any cruise ship, you've got the floating tree. So it sits right there in the middle of the atrium. You can actually see it here from the library. And once again, it's just a stunningly beautiful space. Set just below the library is the card room. It's one of those classic spaces on board a cruise ship. This is an exceptionally beautiful one. Once again, with the incredible atrium just in front of me, you've got that fantastic live tree. So this is the place where you can go if you wanna play a game of bridge, or they have all kinds of different board games that you can utilize, borrow, or bring your own. Would you play with new friends? Or if you wanna play with family and friends traveling with you, this is the perfect spot for that. Now, just below the card room, you're going to find the Tea Earth Lounge. They have different things on biodiversity and community and things like that. But what this spot is mainly utilized for is you have the Captain's Club desk on one side. You've got the Concierge Club desk on the other, so they can take care of all of your different needs. And of course, that stunning view of the beautiful floating tree. We've kind of worked our way down here. You can get another glimpse of it right here. So now I'm inside the Celebrity Eye Lounge. They've got a ton of IMAX in here. If you wanna learn, it's a great place for that. Or if you wanna utilize the internet, you can do that here. It's also the place where you're gonna come when you need to set up your internet or you have any questions related to that on board. Now, because of their partnership with Apple, it's also a fantastic place to purchase an Apple device at a duty-free price. Now, Apple pretty much controls their pricing throughout. So this is a place, if you wanna save a few bucks, you can do that. They have all kinds of different iMacs, iPads, all kinds of different things here for you to check out. In addition to some of the accessories, I even got a new pair of headphones. Now we're on the upper level of the Celebrity Theater. This is where you're gonna find those world-class production shows that Celebrity is known for. Each and every year, they seem to up their game even more. They're really amazing. Of course, the singers and the dancers add to that incredible quality. Now up here, you're gonna have stadium style seating all throughout, and then down below as well, it's set up stadium style. So you have a ton of seats down on the bottom area, and then it kind of slowly goes up. They even have some bar stool seating up on the top area as well. In addition to those world-class production shows, they're gonna have guest entertainers, singers, comedians, acrobats, dancers, all kinds of different options. And you also utilize this space for lectures and different enrichment activities as well. Now there's two atriums in the ship. You've got another one down here below me that leads into the Celebrity Theater. And then right behind is the photo gallery. So you have different kinds of retail options. Of course, you can take advantage of all the photographs that they take of you on board. You can buy a package where you get all of them or just pick out that special photo that really sings that your Celebrity Cruise created the most incredible memories. Next up is the World Class Bar. There's a lot of fantastic bars on board, but this is where you go to visit the Masters of Mixology. They have an incredible assortment of high quality, some of those toppest top shelves that you can have out there. But what it's all about is the engagement with the bartenders, having an incredibly delicious drink, maybe even a smoked one of sorts. You can have all kinds of different things here. I'm gonna try to try them all, I'm just saying. 
Now there's quite a few different retail options here on board. This is a shop from Effie. It's a partnership that they have. You can find some absolutely beautiful designs. And then as we continue along the walk, you're gonna have several different types of retail. You wanna take a little bit of retail therapy, if you will, and take advantage of those duty-free prices. Now, right in the middle, you're gonna find the art gallery. They have a partnership with Park West here on board. They have an incredible array of different sculptures like this beautiful one. You've got all kinds of different art. So what I love about it is whether you wanna to go to the champagne art auction or not, well, the going is fun, you learn a lot, and hey, free champagne is always fantastic. But you also can come in here, check it out, and just to me, enhances the entire experience. Now, Taylor's favorite part of any cruise ship is the coffee shop. You'll almost always find him down here, and Cafe El Bacchio really delivers on that. You've got the beautiful seats all the way around. They have those high yellow chairs that are even big enough for me. I appreciate that. You've got all the tables here where you can enjoy your coffee, and it even extends out onto the Grand Foyer as well. So right here behind me is the coffee shop itself. So you have the amazing baristas that are mixing all of your favorite drinks. Well, I say mixing because I usually put a little bit of Kahlua or Baileys or something in there. Right, Taylor? Mm, you know. Anyway, um, so what I love about this is, like I said, you can come up, you can get that. It is included in the classic beverage package, virtually all of the different coffees. If you want to add some of those high-end alcohols, you can upgrade to the premium as well. But you can come down here any time of the day and enjoy it. I usually set up shop later in the evening to work in the coffee shop itself. Now. I love coffee, but you guys know that I love something even more. I always stop by here to have some cookies and maybe some pie and some, well, chocolate chip cake. Ooh, those look amazing, those cupcakes down there. These are an incredible pastry selection. Once again, this is all complimentary. So you have some coffee, pastry, a very European experience, and enjoy your day. Now, I love traveling to Italy. And I love that right here, you can get a little bit of Italy on board. You've got some amazing gelato options. They've got all kinds of different toppings. More of my favorite cookies here. But what sets this apart is the waffle maker back there. So you can have those nice, fresh waffle cones. The smell is intoxicating. You're gonna love it here and you're gonna have a gelato good time. Now, just opposite of Taylor's favorite spot, the coffee shop, you're gonna find mine. It is Sushi on Five. You have world-class sushi chefs. You can see you've got the sushi bar right here. They're getting ready to prepare lunch as we speak. But what I love about this is if you wanna pop in for a quick snack, a roll, some sashimi, of course you can do that. You can also make a full meal out of it for lunch and or dinner. I'm gonna go with and dinner. I just love this place so much. I've uh, usually visited about 10, 15 times on a week long cruise. So you can see you're set just off the Grand Foyer. You're gonna have seating all the way along. You've got tables for two, four, six. They can also put it together for a larger group. In the corner here, they also have those classic bench or booth seatings here. And once again, you can push them together if you would like. But I love the fact that they have a sushi restaurant here on board. It's a classic and it's one of the fan favorites. Now, one of the classic spots on any cruise ship is the promenade deck. This is the area that wraps all the way around the ship and has outdoor space. I love to come out here on a sea day, grab a book, read and relax. All along, they have chairs. They're gonna put some padded seating here just a little bit later on. And then as we head down further, you're gonna have some lounge chairs as well. So the promenade deck, once again, it's a great outdoor space to utilize while you're on board. It's also a fantastic place to head down if you're going through any of the scenic areas. So you can see here, they have more loungers. And then as I step right on out, you're gonna be right at the rails where you can have those beautiful unobstructed views. Now this beautiful space is the Retreat Lounge. It's one of those upgraded spaces that you get if you're staying in the Retreat Sky Suite and above. You can come down here to meet with the Retreat hosts and concierges. They're gonna be down here throughout the day. And then you can take a drink, a coffee, continental breakfast or snacks in the evening. Now all along here, you'll see you have that bench style seating. You have additional seating here, some nice, large, comfy sofas, tables for two and four. Once again, a double down on that beautiful modern decor. Now, continuing along through the space, you're gonna see it opens up more here and you've got tables for dining. So if you wanna come down and get a nice, quick continental breakfast, or once again, have some tapas later in the evening, this is that perfect spot for you. You've got a full bar over in the corner there with some of the best bartenders in the entire world. They're gonna keep them flowing throughout. And then as we finish off the space, 
I wanted to point out this over here in the corner. So this is gonna rotate and change throughout your time here during the day. But what I love is you can come down anytime that you'd like. You can grab sodas, water, sparkling water, and you also can make your own coffee. I love the Lavazza coffee maker here. Once again, that perfect space to get away from all the others on board. You can come here to your own personal retreat. Now we're headed into Murano, which is the French restaurant, but it's really evolved over the last couple years. It's really a focus on classic French and Nouveau French with a Mediterranean twist. So it's a very, very elegant restaurant. You can see you have seating all, away, all the way around in the back there, and then it continues along in a horseshoe. Now you have tables for two, four, and of course larger group tables as well. But one of the cool things about this particular restaurant is that they do all kinds of table side preparations. You can see they have the stations set up for flambe. One of their most famous, of course, is the Murano lobster prepared with cognac right at your table. Or my all time favorite, the crepe a la orange with strawberries, once again, with cognac and a little bit of Pinot Noir. So if you want a little bit of entertainment, I guess you would, with your dinner, and of course it's exquisitely tasting, you can have that in here. Now I wanted to take you just around the corner to this private room. You can reserve this, make sure that you ask for it as soon as you get on board if that's something you'd like to do, maybe for a celebration, a birthday, something along those lines, or if you wanna take part in the chef's table. They're gonna do the Daniel Belude chef's table right here at least once throughout your cruise. It's an exquisite experience that I highly recommend you check out, especially if you're a foodie. Just forward of the three specialty restaurants, you'll find the Ensemble Lounge. It's an absolutely beautiful space. It's meant to be like home. You'll see all of the fantastic, beautiful modern furniture here. They've got several different seating configurations, whether it's two, four, they've got the couches as well. But what this particular lounge is all about is of course the ensemble. They always have live music here. They do an amazing job. In fact, Taylor, who's a musician himself, was commenting how good they were on board. But for me, it's all about my friend Errol and of course the bar. There we go. Hey, how's it going, sir? Oh, it's look. Going good, sir. Uh, the drink, Mr. Danny. All right, there we go. Guess what? A gin and tonic. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. All right, well, let's continue along to the space. Once again, it is an absolutely beautiful space. You can see that you have more seating up against the windows here. This is that classic place to go before you're joining one of the specialty restaurants or after. You can take in a little music, fantastic ambiance, and have a great time with friends. Now keep in mind that Celebrity does include world-class food options here on board. You've got the Ocean View Cafe if you want that casual breakfast, lunch, and dinner buffet-style experience. You're gonna have the main dining room if you want that a la carte course by course all included for you. In addition, you can go to the Mast Grill. There's a few other food options around, but I just wanted to point out that you can have a complimentary experience with the food that is exquisite, or you can take it to the next level with specialty. As we explore the specialty restaurants on board, I wanted to talk a little bit more about what that concept is. So there's two specialty restaurants, Lumine, that's for retreat guests, and Blue, which are for aqua class guests, that are just based on the class of room or suite that you book. So you're gonna get complimentary breakfast, lunch, and dinner in those. Once again, Lumine if you're in one of the suites, and Blue if you're in aqua class. But beyond that, anybody can book the specialty restaurants on board. You can see there's a couple choices here. You have Cuisine, Tuscan Grill, and Murano, my all-time favorite, Sushi on Five. These are an upcharge. So essentially, if you want an over-the-top experience, a specialized experience, you're gonna love trying those out. Now you can pay a la carte as you go for each one, or you can purchase a package. But what I highly recommend, if you have certain times that you wanna dine, make sure that you do that as soon as you get on board. They're gonna be down in the Grand Foyer taking reservations, they can answer all of your questions. But if you have a special event that you're celebrating or you just love exquisite food, I highly recommend that you check them all out. Now we're just inside Le Petit Chef at Cuisine. Now this entire Le Petit Chef experience is unlike anything else in the cruise world. All above you, you can't see it here, you've got the whimsical decor, but you also have different projectors set up on the roof. And so as you eat your meal, you get this entertainment on the plate itself. So what it is, is Le Petit Chef, the concept of several different chefs that are preparing your meal, but they're doing it kind of in a animation style. So they're gonna be projected right here on your plates. They have a little bit of a competition between the French chef and the Italian chef, and the Japanese chef, of course. But as they do this course by course, they're gonna do an entire show on your plate. It's such a unique experience. Of course, the food is phenomenal. But what I love about it is it's perfect for every member of the family. And once again, an incredible menu. So you can see more of the whimsical style in here. But what it's really about 
is having little tiny chefs serve your meal and enjoy every bit of it. What's so interesting is they even shrunk me a little bit, or did they actually find a spoon my size? Just in front of the Tuscan Grill, you'll find Blue. This is the specialty restaurant dedicated to the Aqua Class guests here on board. So if you choose to upgrade to Aqua Class, this is gonna be your dedicated restaurant for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit skeptical the first time I booked Aqua Class. I wasn't quite sure what spa cuisine meant. And what I found that it meant with Celebrity is an incredibly enhanced menu. So they have different healthier options, cleaner options, if you will, but they have different takes on the classics and of course, all of your favorite classics as well. There's a really nice wall of windows on the far side here. You've got tables all the way around for two. They also have more tables in the far distance. They can put them together for four or six if you would like. And as we continue along, you've got more seating here, including those benches in the very back. So you've got the booth style seating. Once again, two, four, six, eight, they can put them together. Of course, if you're in Aqua Class, you can dine at the other specialty restaurants as well. This is just a fantastic upgrade and one of my favorite reasons to choose Aqua Class. So now we're headed into the Tuscan Grill, and as you walk in, the decor is reminiscent of being inside a wine barrel. In fact, some of my favorite memories in Italy are wine tastings in the Chianti region, and they've done a great job replicating that. This is the favorite restaurant on board for so many people because it's the best of an Italian meal, the best of a steakhouse put together. So the Tuscan Grill is where you come for the all-time classics, the calamari, the creamy burrata, all of my favorite antipastis as well. And then as you work through the meal, you're gonna have a phenomenal choice of pastas and of course, steaks. I'm gonna go for the ribeye every single time myself. I think Taylor likes to compliment it with a little bit of gnocchi as well. But if you love the steakhouse fare, they've got all of those sides as well, all of your favorite Italian dishes. So you can tell why this is the fan favorite when it comes to specialty restaurants with celebrity. It's a really large space and it occupies the very back of the ship. So you have windows all along the back looking out, really beautiful views. You've got booth seating, you've got tables that are two, four, six, they can put them together for larger as well. And then of course, you're gonna be greeted with some incredible bread choices and who doesn't like handmade pasta? So as you look around, once again, it's a beautiful and elegant space. Make sure you make your reservation as soon as you get on board because this is one that always fills up. Celebrity Central is an incredibly diverse entertainment option here on board. It's used for everything from late night comedy to lectures to first run movies, interactive entertainment and live bands. You can see that it's set up in theater style seating. So you've got it wrapped all the way around. They've got some high tops in the back and they have this open down here as well. So it's incredibly accessible. And then just in front of me is the main stage. You've got all the different lights in here. And what I love about it is it's that intimate venue. So you have the theater to have those massive production shows, but if you're doing a lecture or you have a live band in here, it's a fantastic place to enjoy the entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to dance. With a name like Quasar, the nightclub has to have a spaceship. You guys like my spaceship? Just kidding, let me step out of here real quick and show you the space. This is a nightclub experience. So if you're looking for some late night dancing, they do have some other activities in here as well. But what this is truly about is evening entertainment. You've got a huge dance floor right here. You've got the DJ booth right behind me. You're gonna have seats along the edge of the dance floor. That's where all my middle school students used to sit when I would chaperone the dances. I don't know, maybe that's you as well. You've got some booth seating all the way around so you can tuck away with friends. And then, well, these super funky seats right here in the middle where you can rock the night away. Literally, do a little rocking and rolling. This is a great place to have a drink. They even have, well, cocktail table, which I always need, and hopefully I won't knock that over. But just behind me, you'll find the full service bar. But if you're looking for a fun thing to do at night, you love to sing, dance, have that nice rocking music going on, this is your spot. Now, if you're having an amazing time on board, which I know you will be, you can always stop by the future cruise desk to book your next cruise. You're always gonna find the best prices here. You're gonna get a bonus onboard credit. And as your travel advisor, they're gonna let us know as soon as you book, and we can take over from there and handle all of the details. They're experts here on board. This is all that they do. They talk about the celebrity product. They live in it, so they really truly understand it. Even if you're not quite ready to book a cruise, you can also come down and book an open cruise where basically you put down a, a deposit and then within 60 days you name the cruise and you get the same benefit. Of course, we can take care of all of that for you as soon as you get home. If you enjoy a bit of gaming, the casino here on board is world class. It is a massive casino. 
You've got all the different machines, slot machines all along the sides there. You've got poker, kino, once again, all of those classics. And right here in the middle, you're gonna find all of the different table games. I love that they have classic Texas Hold'em. It's hand dealt by a dealer rather than a machine. They've, a lot of cruise lines have switched over to that, and that's not really, to me, what poker is all about. I love that face-to-face -face experience where you can really get to know the players, have a great time, and of course, try to figure out who's bluffing. All along here, you've got three card poker, you've got tons of blackjack options, ultimate Texas Hold'em, a couple roulette tables. Right here is the craps table. Brings me back some, some memories on board Celebrity. I've done pretty good at the craps tables here. And then as we continue along, you can see it keeps going. So on the opposite side, you have more machines. You've got those poker machines, slot machines, my all-time favorite, Wheel of Fortune. And then continuing along, you have more of the table games. Now I'm gonna take you right over to the other side because right in the middle of the casino, like every casino needs, you have a fantastic bar. So they have an espresso maker for Taylor. He appreciates that. And then I love, of course, the wide selection of beer, wines, and spirits. So they've got high top pub tables here, some low top tables as well. And then the bar right here is going to provide service to the entire casino throughout your stay. So once again, if you enjoy a little bit of gaming, this might be the perfect place for you. Across from the casino, you're gonna find more retail options, once again, duty-free as always. So they have a lot of different clothing items, you've got bags, watches, all of those types of things. You're also gonna have options to grab those things that you may have forgotten at home. Maybe you just need another bathing suit or some sunglasses as well, but they have a large array of sundries. To cap it off on the far side, you're gonna find where they have the different alcohols, tobacco items, things that you may wanna take home at a duty-free price because so much of the prices of those products are built into the duties of them. So whatever you'd like to do on board, if you wanna shop, have a little bit of retail therapy, there's quite a few options for you. Added during its Celebrity Revolution upgrade, you'll find the beautiful Craft Social. The concept behind this is to pay homage to your favorite craft beers, whiskeys, and wines. So what you'll find in here is tastings. In fact, this entire table is set up to do tastings right now. They can do different kinds of whiskey tastings from Jack Daniels, McAllen, all of your absolute favorites. In addition to that, they have over 40 craft beers here for you to try as you would like, and then all of your favorite bar drinks. The idea behind this is really about that social pub experience. They also have a wide selection of pub and comfort foods. Those do come at an additional cost, but they are upgraded and absolutely delicious. So you've got a ton of space all the way towards the back. You've got some high top pub tables. You also have some lower seats right here, and then it continues out onto the grand foyer as well. At the far side, you're gonna find the bar. The bartenders, I know I've said this before, they are what make this a special experience. They know these beers, wines, and whiskeys inside and out. They're gonna talk you through the process, make you laugh just a little bit, and as you gather with friends, you'll find that this is that perfect social gathering place. Without a doubt, the most popular bar on board any celebrity ship is the Ice Top Martini Bar. It debuted on board the beautiful celebrity Solstice, and of course being Solstice class, it carried over here. And people loved it so much, they also put it on the Millennium class when they updated those as well. Now the reason behind it is it is a central gathering hub. Of course, you can get some of the best martinis in the business. You're gonna have flair bartendering going on behind. It's in a perfect location right here off of the Grand Foyer. You have a ton of seating wrapped all the way around the sides. They have these individual nooks where you've got seats for four, eight, or 12, so you can gather with new friends or if you're traveling with others, you can do that as well. What I love about the bar is, like I said, it's ice topped. It's actually frozen. You can put your martini right there. You can write a nice little note to your, uh, your loved one or, pay homage to your favorite travel agency, of course. As we walk around further, you can see that it's a large oval. It wraps completely around. They also have some lower seating down here for accessibility as well. A really nice touch. But what this is about is getting together, shaking some martinis, of course, always shaken, not stirred. And uh, you can sit here and gather with all of your friends. Now, in addition to that, they also have Crush, which is where they're gonna do different tastings and things along those lines. It's an extension of the Ice Top Martini Bar, and it has ice down the middle as well. Now we're in the stunning grand foyer. Once again, high on design. This beautiful space is the central hub of the ship. All around me, you're gonna find the guest relations desk on the far side over there. You've got the shore excursions desk where they can answer all of your questions about the destinations that you're visiting, the tours that you may wanna participate in. Now keep in mind, in addition to the group tours, they also do some amazing custom and private tours as well. 
You're gonna have the passport bar on the far side. And what I love about this space is every single time I walk on board one of the Millennium Series ships or the Solstice Series, you have that grand stairway leading up to the middle. You've got your glass of champagne in your hand from boarding, and you know that your experience has started out the right way. Now you've got the passport bar down here because this space also evolves throughout the day and into the evening. It's a great place to come to have a cocktail. It's a gathering place with friends, family, the group that you're traveling with. Now as we continue along, I wanted to take you over to the shore excursions desk. Once again, these are the experts in the destinations that you're visiting. In fact, they've been on many of the tours, if not all of them. They can answer those questions for you and they can make sure that you have an incredible time on land just as you will here on board the Equinox. Now we're headed into Lumine. This beautiful place is the restaurant that's exclusively for retreat guests, and you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner in here. It's as good as any of the specialty restaurants on the ship and in the entire industry. It's a fantastic amenity as being part of the retreat. So if you're in a sky class or above, once again, you can come here for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, have an incredible a la carte menu. It does change every single day. They have all of your favorite staples, and then they're gonna add dishes each and every meal. In addition to that, they always have those Daniel Baloud signatures that are absolutely delicious. Now in the space itself, you've got quite a bit of seats that are along the window side. You see you have more spread out here, two, four, they can push them together for larger groups. Maybe you're traveling with the family as well. And it wraps all the way to the back and then it goes around the corner here. You've got some more booth seating against the wall there. Another large booth here that's perfect for a family. And then wrapping up right around the corner here, you're gonna see that there's a little more seating. What I love about that is they've added more so that they can accommodate all of the retreat guests. Once again, breakfast, lunch, and dinner as you like. Of course, you can also have that in your room. On the aft of the ship, you'll find the stunning two-story dining room. This is the Silhouette Dining Room. It's the main dining, so you can enjoy complimentary meals here every single day while you're on board the beautiful Equinox. Now, what you'll see is that the design is next level. It's incredible. It was designed by the one and only Adam Tahani. You can see that the beautiful structures all the way around really complement every bit of the experience. So you've got all kinds of table options. You've got the tables for two, four, six. They even got large tables for 10 as well if you'd like to dine with your family. You can dine just the two of you if you wanna have your own experience. Or of course, I always love dining with others. I've met so many incredible new people on board Celebrity over the years. Now the food that you'll find in here is very classic. You're gonna find some twists on dishes so you can kind of find that nouveau version of it. But of course, all of your favorite classics, if you love that steak, well, they do it really, really well. And if you're a venophile, you're gonna fall in love with the celebrity experience. You can see the amazing wine tower behind, but their wine cellars are unmatched in the industry. They have world-class sommeliers, so they can partner the best food with the most incredible wines for the perfection of experience. First off, thank you so much for spending your time with us today on the beautiful Celebrity Equinox so you can get a glimpse of what the Solstice class ships are all about. We do have the Millennium class ships. We also have the Edge class as well if you wanna check out those videos on our channel. But I hope you loved all of the incredible spaces on here. We're in the Lawn Club right now. I absolutely love the stunning restaurant and all the specialties that they have here on board, the entertainment venues, the quality of the musicians, but it's really all about the crew. They do an incredible job. They're so happy to welcome us here on board and they're gonna love welcoming you as well. When you're ready to book your next celebrity cruise, reach out to Hard Travel. We are your celebrity cruise experts. We know the spaces inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with celebrity and we know that we can craft the vacation of a lifetime for you your friends, family, or group at an incredible value on any of the Solstice class ships, the Solstice, the Eclipse, the Equinox, the Silhouette, or the Stunning Reflection.